Just when you've started to get comfortable with Apple's M3 chip, we now have news beginning to surface surrounding Apple's lineup of M4 chips, which is kind of the norm with technology. The moment you get something, something newer is going to come out. But according to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, we can expect Apple's lineup of M4 chips to be released in late 2024. Now, we all know that Apple will have heavy emphasis this WWDC on AI. These new M4 chips will apparently be focused on improving performance for artificial intelligence capabilities. Last year, Apple introduced the M3, the M3 Pro, and the M3 Max chips all at once in October. And so it's possible that we could see this same M4 lineup come during the same time frame. Gurman says that the entire Mac lineup is slated to get the M4 across late 2024 and early 2025. Now, Apple is said to be nearing production for the M4 processor, and it's expected to come in at least three main varieties. We have chips that are codenamed Donin for the low end, Brava for the mid-tier, and Hydra for the top end. Now, Donin, or Don, I'm just going to go with Donin, uh, that chip will be used in the entry-level MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air, and the low-end Mac Mini, and the Brava chips will be used in the higher-end MacBook Pros and the higher-end Mac Mini. The Hydra chip is designed for the Mac Pro, which means it's probably an ultra or an extreme tier chip. And so as for the Mac Studio, Apple is testing versions with an unreleased M3 era chip and a variation of the M4 Brava processor that would presumably be higher tier than the M4 Pro and M4 Max Brava chips. One of the more insane things is that the M4 version of Mac desktops could support 512 gigs of unified memory, which is by far the most in any Apple Silicon machine as the current RAM limit is 192 gigs. Now, I had 512 gigs of RAM in an Intel Mac Pro. I believe the limit was one terabyte at that time, which is just absolutely insane. Uh, and it ran really well, obviously, but I can only imagine what it would be like on an Apple Silicon machine. Now, the first M4 chip machines are expected to come in the iMac, the lower end 14 inch MacBook Pro, the higher end 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, as well as the Mac Mini, followed by the MacBook Air, the Mac Studio, and the Mac Pro in 2025. Of course, it'll be interesting to hear exactly what AI capabilities will need all of that power, and hopefully WWDC will shed a little bit more light on that, but I'm also not surprised if Apple decides to hold all of those cards close to their vest and not actually announce what those features would be at WWDC and save them for what could be an exciting M4 product launch later in the year. But of course, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about the M4 chips? I know it's early, it'll be here before you know it though, and with AI being the biggest buzz for Apple this year, what would you want with AI features when it comes to the Mac? Let me know down in those comments. This has been Now with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.